Hello and welcome to another webcast with Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. My name is Seth David and I'll be your host for the next 10 minutes or so. We have promised to deliver a webcast on how to customize your invoice in QuickBooks and I plan to deliver exactly that. So bear with me while I get through some of the promotional stuff. Saturday, July 18th is our Steps to Success webinar. You have to sign up for this webinar. It's only two hours and it's only $20. And I guarantee you're going to get something out of it that you're going to find useful. That's worth twice the $20 you're going to pay for it. And what's it about? You can visit our website at nerdenterprises.com and find out <clears throat> a little bit more. Or if you want, email us and I'll send you our Independence Day newsletter, which uh, kind of talks a little bit about that. But uh, it gives you the steps that I'm going to discuss in greater detail during the webinar. The basic gist of it is this. I came to California about 10 years ago when I was 28 years old and I was completely broke. And I built up a business little by little. I started out as a full-time employee and I recognized that I wanted to do something more, that I wanted to be able to create something of my own. And little by little I started to build my business. Well, fast forward till today, I've got a business that's doing plenty well in a so-called bad economy. And there are certain steps I've taken, I believe, which have been integral to creating that and developing that platform from which I can operate now. And I'd like to share that with people because I think anybody can do this. And it's not a matter of you having to create a business like mine. You can create a business doing what you want to do. Take whatever it is you love to do, figure out a way to make money doing it, and then apply a few basic principles to growing a business. And I think that's what I can share with you that you'll find valuable is, you know, I don't have a marketing system to sell. You're not going to make $20,000 next month if you sign up for my program. It's nothing like that. It's more, here are some of the things I've done, and here are some of the programs I've used that have helped me along the way, and some of the, the tips I've taken and used that have helped me thrive and succeed as a businessman. And with that, I bid you good luck. I hope you sign up for the webinar. I really think you'll enjoy it and get something good out of it. July 18th, go to the Learning Center in our website, the live webinars. I'll take you there at the end of this webcast, but for now I want to get right into the, the heart of matters here, which of course is the QuickBooks How to Customize Your Invoice webcast. Let's do it. Let's do it. And if you're watching this and you're wanting to learn how to customize a uh, an invoice on this webcast, there's a good chance you've already got a business and I still think you can get something out of the webinar. I'm going to share uh, the things I'm going to share with you in the webinar on the 18th because I'm going to show you things that you can, if you're not already doing them, you can do them and help your business grow. And even if you are already doing them, I can show you how to take things to the next level in terms of the web presence and some of the other stuff. Now, you're looking at a QuickBooks sample company file and we want to customize our invoice. So invoice is a template which is in a list so we go to lists and we go to templates. Isn't that exciting? Isn't this fun? Then we're going to go to templates down here. And we want to go to download templates. Because QuickBooks has been good enough to provide us with a forum in which we can easily get templates that other people who are frankly better at this than I am have created. And I'm going to scroll down past the credit memos and the estimates. And we're going to get to the invoices. And browse here. Find the one that you like best. I'm going to demonstrate with the one that we use for uh, Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. We want to click the download button and save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. We'll close that. And then I can close this screen. Back to my templates. I click templates again. And now I want to choose import. I click my import button. I scroll down to where I saved it. I click it, I click open, and it's going to open up the uh, basic customization dialog for me. Then I'm going to take you right into the layout designer. Now incidentally, this is the same place you can go with a basic QuickBooks uh, invoice template and you can clear everything out and start from scratch if you want to. I just think it's handy to start with something that somebody else has already created, which is plenty nice. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to change the background because this is a nice enough looking logo, but you probably want to put your own logo on it. So what you'll do is it comes up selected. You'll see that I've got the whole background selected and it, it happens to be that that is in fact the image that's in the background. If you're not sure, you can do what I'm going to have you do anyway, which is click here on properties. And sure enough, it shows you that you're looking at the properties of an image and it gives you an image of the image. An image of the image. That's good. So we can click Browse, and then we can browse to our logo. So, and I've already got mine in there, because I've done this before. 
Now, bear in mind, I did not take the time for the purposes of this webcast to customize my logo specific for this invoice template. The one that I use in real life, so to speak, is actually customized. I've watermarked it so it's a little more faint because then what I want to do is I want to enlarge this and put them in the background. And then what you can do is you've got the image selected still. You can right click it and go to order and send backward. That way you can make sure your image stands behind everything. And again, if, you, if this is properly watermarked, then uh, it wouldn't be drowning out the information that's here the way it apparently is now. now let me cancel this and go back to the original design because I want to show you a couple of other things very quickly before we wrap up. Go back into the layout designer. I canceled my changes, so I'm back to the original design. And a few things to note what they've done. I go to my PO number uh, data field, for example. I double click it, and I go to my border options here. And you'll see what they've done is they've chosen rounded corners and they've got medium. Now, let's say you want to use this template, but there might be data fields you want to take out, and there might be new ones you want to put in. Well, what you'll want to do then is you'll want to take note of the color that they've used on their borders. We're in the borders uh, properties click on color and go to define custom colors and you'll want to take note of these number sequences write them down on in an index card or just jot them down in an excel spreadsheet so that you have them because if you bring in a new field it's going to come in with a dark border and you're going to have to customize the colors so that it matches important thing to note the other thing is that's very important to note is the proper balance when you're designing a template like this between the information that's on here and that's needed by the end user and balance that with having a nice looking template. It's great to have a gorgeous template, but if the person who receives your invoice and who has to input that invoice into their bookkeeping system can't find the information they need, it can be frustrating. And sometimes I can speak from the experience of being an AP clerk where I would get an invoice and I couldn't find the, the four basic things that are important to be able to find when you're entering an invoice. I need the invoice number, I need the invoice date, I need the due date, and I need the amount. If I can't find those four things in five seconds or less, I'm going to put it to the side and get to the rest of the pile. You have to imagine that the person receiving your invoice ha might have a huge stack of invoices to enter, and they don't have time to ogle over how gorgeous the invoice is. They might do that, but more importantly, they need to get the critical information that they need in order to get the invoice properly entered. And that is the invoice number, which you'll see right here at the top left. It's very prominent. The invoice date, also at the top right now, very prominent. The balance due, of course, is at the very bottom here. And then we have the due date in here. Not my ideal location, but again, it's balanced. I have a nice looking template here. If I stick the due date up here under the date, which is ideally where I'd like to have it, it's going to throw off the balance uh, aesthetically of the invoice, and it's not going to look that pretty. So I can't necessarily have my cake and eat it too. Something like that. Bottom line is, I've got the basic information, and it's not that difficult to find the due date here. So I can click OK on this or cancel because I haven't changed anything. And that's basically how I can get in and start changing these invoices. And if you want to see what it's going to look like on a preview, you can click Print Preview here. And you'll see it's a very nice professional looking invoice. QuickBooks has a habit lately of uh, doing something weird when you go to the Print Preview in 2009. But here it is, blown up in full view. And it looks great. So that's basically it. Now you'll see also it didn't. Uh, there's some overlapping stuff here, so you can go back into the custom the uh, the the layout designer and move some things around so that you don't have that happening anymore. But that's basically it. So as I said, you know, visit us on the web. Go to our learning center. You'll see that we have our uh, live webinars scheduled in the learning center here. Go to live webinars. And you'll see the three times we've scheduled, July 18th. These are all Pacific time, 1 to 3, 4 to 6, and 7 to 9. And, of course, while you're here, uh, have a look at some of the classes we have for download. We have QuickBooks classes for download and Excel classes for download. And uh, really low prices. Most of them are only about $20. So join us. Download our classes. Tell me what you think. I'd love to get your feedback. And I look forward to seeing you around online. Come back next week for a great new and free webcast.